Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Element Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, or this four part series, we'll be creating a map view application. Now I have an example on the simulator here of what we're going to be creating in this little mini series. We have our simple little uh, map view here and you can see it's already pre-loaded and pre-zoomed on Brooklyn Bridge in New York. You can see there's a pin on it and it says Brooklyn Bridge New York, we've got the map pin there. We can also change the view to satellite and hybrid. And if we just zoom out now, because we are on the iOS simulator, when we go to find our own location, let me just zoom out there, you can see, zoom out a little bit more. Now when we go to find our lo own location, uh, because we're on the iOS simulator it makes us, well it thinks we're in California. And another great little feature to this as well is the directions. Now because we got um, it all set up on Brooklyn Bridge and our current location is in uh, California, if we click directions it will take us to the um, Apple Maps application. You just select your start location for wherever you are, so if I chose the current location. Now it's already preset on Brooklyn Bridge and we press root. And then it will just calculate the route and eventually give us directions on how to get to our location. So we're going to create this basic application today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it map view application just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is import our map kit um, foundation um, just simply because you know that's basically everything we need to create you know to display the maps anyway so if you can go to either build fee build phases sorry and go to link binary libraries and add it there or quickly you know, quickly uh, another quicker way go to capabilities and select the map section here and turn that on and if you go to our frameworks now you should see the map kit is already important imported sorry so that's a quicker way of doing it so once we've done that we can go to our um, view control h and just simply import the map kit there. So we do hash import, and want the one with the uh, more than less than symbol. Uh, map kit forward slash map kit dot h. So there we go, that's simply all we need to do. Then after the UI view controller, do a space uh, bracket and press enter. And we do mk uh, map kit. Oh, mk mapper view, sorry. There we go space asterisk and I'll simply name it something really simple like map view easy enough to understand when we come to code it and then after the curly bracket here we need to do the app property to uh, non-atomic retain the um, map view so we do app property space bracket non-atomic um, comma retain bracket uh, then we do IB outlet space uh, MK map view again and we're just simply copying what we originally did and we do map view and there is semicolon. Now once you've done that we need the uh, IB action now or the um, kind of action to um, select what style of map we want to display whether it's the standard, the uh, hybrid or the satellite. So that's going to be put onto a um, segment control so we do dash bracket oh, dash bracket IB action and I'll simply name it set map and after the send there we do a curly bracket and they just close up the line there so that's all we need to do there if we just um, copy this line here and as you jump into our view controller.m we can quickly paste that in there and give us a little bit of time so um, put the brackets on either end of it and now we need to go to our impl uh, implementation here and underneath we need to do uh, synthesize and we need to synthesize our map view and just simply end that with a semicolon now within the um, map uh, in the uh, set map um, action here we need to do a kind of a switch kind of a statement of cases to show which map we want to display so if we first before we do any of that if we build uh, the kind of map view into the interface now so we're going to need uh, a couple of things to really start off we're going to need a uh, navigation bar there we go uh, we're going to need our 
toolbar at the bottom and a map view oh that's a web view sorry a map view there we go and now if we just get rid of the item in the uh, toolbar at the bottom here and if I add then a uh, segmented control if I'm going to find it there we go and now if we go to edit the options of it and we select that we need three segments the first segment will be our standard then change our second segment to be our satellite view and then our third segment to be our hybrid so then if I just click on it again and just space it out so you can see the uh, words kind of clearly so um, let's click onto it again then there we go so now we named all our three segments we're going to have the uh, standard segment be enabled and selected already so as the map view is going to load already load like in a standard format we want our standard um, kind of segment here already selected now if we just go to the view controller up here or you can select it down here go to um, um, connections inspector and now link up our map view and our set map there we go and we can need to do this to value change so the actions happen when the value changes now we've done that just click back onto the view controller here and let's go down to here at the bottom where we can uh, resolve the uh, auto layer issues and add missing constraints in view controller this means because it's on the iPhone you know the larger iPhone 5 screen is that when we go to build in uh, the simulator I've already I, you know, I kind of select it on the 3.5 inch as it fits on the screen nicely the um, constraints are working together and will resize it to the view okay so now we've done that if we jump back into our view control.m and we can set up our um, code in here for our switching the map view style so what we do is switch and in the expression we do bracket bracket uh, UI segment control space asterisk and after that first bracket there we do space sender and after that another bracket there we do dot selected um, segment index and then in our first case here we do zero and in the statement here we do map view and um, we choose the um, map type of our map view and it's going to equal mk map uh, type uh, standard and end that with a semicolon. So basically saying like uh, if the first case is selected, so if I go back into our storyboard here, so the first case which is zero, uh, which is this one here, standard, if that's selected then it's gonna display the standard map on our map view. Now if I just copy this here and paste it uh, two times and it's changing the case here to one and two and then we change the type of our uh, map um, kind of uh, view there onto satellite on the second one and hybrid on the third one and make sure it's all finished up with the def default at the end with the break and then once you've done that it's kind of all done so if you go to uh, build and run now and we test out the map view options that we have now um, kind of created within our map view application Okay, then now the map has loaded. You can see we um, can interact with it, and we can, if you hold Alt on the simulator, and you can zoom, pinch to zoom in and out. And if we select our satellite, we are given like the kind of uh, Google Map kind of view or the Earth view. Uh, hybrid, and it's the same view, but then it's got you know names and roads when you zoom in a bit further, and places you can clearly see like it's to combine the standard and satellite together hybrid. So there you go then, that's simply how you uh, add map styles or you know different add different kind of map um, views into a map view application. So the next episode we're going to be um, touching upon um, locations, getting your own location and setting a uh, fixed location for the map view to load up on. 
So yeah, if you enjoyed this um, tutorial so far in the first episode of our map um, view series, make sure you leave us a comment or a like. And uh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out all our apps on the App Store by simply searching Geek Element. And uh, yeah, again, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh! I got a little more pinky! I got a little more... No, it's not my pinky! I got a little more finger!